But this is just an interesting discrete random variable question. So pause the video, read the question, and then I'll jump straight into it. So it's a game of chance. There's 16 marbles in a bag. They're all numbered 1 to 16. When you pull the ball out, you don't get the number on it. You divide whatever that number is by 6, and then whatever the remainder is, that's the points that you get. So if you pull the number 15 out, divide 15 by 6, you get 2 remainder 3. You get 3 points. Um, Alright, so the first bit is to determine the probability function. That means draw the probability table. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, M is the number of points you receive, which is the remainder when you divide by 6. Uh, what sort of remainders you can get? Well, it could be divisible by 6, so you could get a remainder 0. Uh, if you got the number 7, that would be remainder 1. If you got the number 8, that would be remainder 2. 9 would be remainder 3. Um, 10 would be remainder 4. 11 would be remainder 5. And 12 would be divisible by 6, which would be remainder 0. So you can get remainders anywhere from 0 to 5. Now, um, I'm probably just going to write all the numbers out just so I don't make any mistakes here. Alright, so there are all of my numbers. Now I'll start at number 6 because that's easy, remainder 0, 7, remainder 1, 8, remainder 2. We can see a pattern forming here, 3, 4, 5, remainder 0 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then back up to the top, remainder 1, remainder 2, remainder 3, remainder 4, remainder 5. Okay, and now it's just a matter of adding up how many times we get one point, how many times we get two points. So how many times do we get zero points? Only six and twelve, so two. Two out of sixteen, which is one in eight. Now, how about uh, remainder one? One, one, one. Three ways to do that. Uh, three and sixteen. What about the twos? Two, 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 three and sixteen. What about the three? Three, 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 three and sixteen. The fours? Four, 4, 4, 3 and 16, so that's for 2, 3 and 4. Of course, finally, what about the 5s? Only uh, 2 of those that I can see, so 2 and 16, 1 in 8. So that's our probability function. A probability function is just the table. So we're done there. Look, you should probably put 1 in 8 in there and 1 in 8 in there, but I've spoken about before how it's useful to hold them there because then you can easily add things up. Determine whether it's a uniform distribution. No, it's not, because the probability of 0 is different to the probability of 1. I might just write something a bit formal there. I'll just say this is not uniform, because the probability that x equals 0 does not equal the probability that x equals 1. 1 8 does not equal 3 16. Finally, calculate the probability that m is less than 2. So, write, writing that a little more formally. I'm going to ask to find that the random variable is less than 2. Now, that's obviously going to be equal to the probability that it's 0. And sorry, 0 or 1, so we add them together. And there's our answer, 5 on 16. All right, there's just a brief look at something that you might run into.